everybody this is Leslie and I am going to be showing you a DIY that I am doing a challenge with Amanda LAC and we are spending ten dollars and seeing basically what we can come up with and how many we can come up with um, finished DIYs we'll just put it that way so I had shown in my last Dollar Tree haul some glass pieces so I'm actually going to be making a hurricane lamp so basically all I'm going to be doing is putting it together I am going to be using E6000 so it will take at least a good 24 hours for it to dry so I'm going to show you the process of how I put it together and what I'm going to do kind of to embellish it and stuff um, but it's probably going to be two videos, so I'll probably combine the two. So I'm going to bring you down and show you what I have. Okay. All right. So we have one of the candlesticks that everybody picks up from the Dollar Tree. And then these are votive holders. You get two of them for a dollar. They come in a, a plastic pack, and then I'm going to be using one of these. Okay, so what I've been trying to do is clean them really good. And I'll tell you, some of them were really hard to get the uh, tags and stuff off of. Thank goodness these, I didn't have to worry about tags, because I'm going to have to be doing alcohol and acetone and all that stuff to try and get some of the tags off the actual glass pieces on the bottom. Okay, so this is a dollar, this is a dollar, this is a dollar. These stones I already had. These are a vase from the Dollar Tree that I've had and I actually keep flowers and stuff in them. But I'm actually going to put some stones in here, so I'll show you that when I get to it. And also, too, these are those glass beads that you buy from the Dollar Tree. And basically all I did was add glitter nail polish onto the back, and I let it set and dry, and I'll be putting that on the front for an embellishment too so that'll probably be in video number two okay so basically all I'm gonna do is the candlestick is gonna be like this and first off I'm gonna have to glue <clears throat> these two pieces together you want to make sure you put enough on you want them to adhere but I also have to put my stones on the bottom one and my suggestion is to use E6000 when you're working with glass pieces I wouldn't do a lot of people I've seen actually use glue guns and stuff like that I just wouldn't recommend it. I don't know how safe that would be. I'm not going to fill it up a lot, but I want some stones. I want some color. I was going to put sand, but <clears throat> I kind of decided against the sand. So, now I'm going to put some E6000 on this side. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. Put this out of your way so you can see what I'm doing. And now I'm just going to turn this over. And hopefully this will work with the stones. And there we go. Because if I need to take some out, I will. 
and then just squeeze real good because you want to make sure it's even and you want to make sure you get a really good bond. The other thing too I find with E6000, if you pull it, pull it up and push it back down again, you get a better bond. I don't know why, but you, for some reason I think I think you do. And I've heard other people say that they do as well. Okay. And E6000 is great because it dries nice and clear. Okay. So. I hope that's good enough. You know what? I think I need to take some stones out. I think I have too many. That's another thing about using the E6000. You don't have to worry about once you glue it down, it's down. This you can, you have time to work with it, so that's better. Because I don't think it was actually staying as well. even. So I'm going to stick that off to the side. Which I really can't because now I have to glue that on top. Alright, so we're going to glue this onto here now. So again, we're just going to take our glue, put it around the rim. All I'm going to do is place this on top, make sure to even it out, wipe up any of the excess, if you have any excess, and like I said, it dries clear, so you don't really have to worry about it, but I don't feel any more. Okay. All right. So now, the only thing we have left is to put this on top. So what I'm going to do is put some glue on the top here. And I'm going to make two of these, but I'm just going to show you how to make one. I'm probably going to put them on my, not my dining room table, but my um, coffee table or something downstairs. And I'm going to add a little bit more glue to, <coughs> excuse me, to the bottom. it around because you don't need a lot. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my tip off here and put that off to the side. Now we're gonna put this on top of here and again we're gonna push down, pick it back up, push down again so we get that good seal. And then we're going to make sure we even it up. And I think that looks good. Okay. I'm going to lift up a little bit because I know I don't really get the seal. Again, I'm just wiping around and it moved a little bit so I'm going to move it around a little bit. I'm going to press down. I want to make sure that it's level and it's even. Okay. And now these candles. So we have one, two, three, 
and then these are a dollar, so that's four dollars. These, you basically, you put batteries in here and then you turn it this way, but it has a base. So what you can do, but I'm not going to do this until after this dries. I'm going to put this in the base and then glue the base into the bottom. So this actually will come out so that when you change the batteries and when you turn it on and off, you'll be able to, you know, just be able to turn it. And I will probably put some of the white stones in here. Or maybe flowers, I'm not really sure yet, but but I will be definitely putting something. But since I put stones in here, I'm thinking I might just put the stones there. So that's what I have. I'm going to let it dry. So this is the first DIY for the challenge that Amanda, LAC, and myself are doing. Um, I have a couple others that I might be doing. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, this so far is $4. I have $6 left. So I'm going to see what I can come up with. I was playing around with some stuff earlier. And like I said, I'm not really sure on a design yet. So I'm going to put this over here. Get this out of the way. So that's going to dry. And then something else that I'll show you that I'm going to work on. Remember, I think I had showed you the Wen box that I used for, um, this is what I usually use on my hair. So I did cut the tops off of the box and I did save this. But um, what I'm going to do is glue pieces down so it stays. I'm going to paint the actual box. I'm not sure what color yet, but I'm going to paint it and I'm going to actually make a flower centerpiece out of it. So I'm going to get um, some pretty flowers from the Dollar Tree and then I'll design the front of the box. I like this fig pattern, but I really don't want the wind and stuff on there. So unfortunately, I may use um, craft paper and find like a really nice paper and then maybe just paint the other sides but we'll make a DIY for that too so but that'll be a separate DIY let's see what else do we have um oh this is from the Dollar Tree this is floral foam I had seen, I think it was pretty and flawed. She made a cell phone holder with one of these. It was the cutest idea I had ever seen. It basically looked like a couch for your cell phone. I'm going to try and make one out of this because this is what she used. So hopefully I'll try and do a DIY for that too. If I don't do the DIY, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Hopefully it'll come out okay. But I did want to show you that too. All right, so that's pretty much it for this. This actually, I'm gonna wait because this piece, I kind of want to glue on to the front and embellish it. So I think the next video will be the embellishing of the actual hurricane. So we'll save that for the next time. All right, so that was my DIY. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope somebody will um, make one. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Um, if there's anything that you needed to know or if you wanted to ask, please do so in the comments section. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Um, but like I said, we'll be back on the second video for part two to embellish it once it dries. Have a good evening, everybody. So here is tonight's dinner. We are having a homemade 
chicken soup. It's my husband's recipe. He actually made the soup this evening. If anybody would like to see a quick DIY on this soup, I can make that the next time we actually make it. And also too, I can give you a list of the ingredients so that you can make it at home. So I hope uh, you are interested. And if you are, please comment below and I will see what I can do very shortly in making a video on the soup. Have a good evening.